So I'm starting off with this Pixi Rose Oil to moisturize my skin. I look so tired, you guys. We need to change this up, okay? Makeup does wonders. So I like to apply the oil all over my face. I've also been applying, like, whatever I apply on my face to my hands. Or if I have leftovers, my hands are just very dry right now. So I'm just directly adding oil to them. Just applying any skincare because your hands need love too. As you get older, as you age, your neck area and your hands are definitely going to show with age. You want to take care of that at a young age. So I always apply skincare to my hands and of course my neck. I'm going to stay youthful, okay? We really think we're never going to get old one day, but... I'm going to be 29 this year and I am just, I am over it. I know 29 isn't like super old, but I'm not 20 anymore, okay? Those nine years, a lot has changed. So you want to take care of your skin. I always make sure that my hands and my arms, and just my body is very well moisturized. And it definitely makes a difference in the skin. I only apply a little bit to my face. I go in at night. And make sure that I'm super hydrated because the next morning I wake up super glowy. For primer, I'm using this Maybelline Smooth and Hydrate Primer. And I'm pretty much using all drugstore makeup. This is one of my favorite primers from the drugstore. It definitely helps your makeup last longer and it gives you a nice splash of hydration. For foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 460. I love this foundation so, so, so much. I did notice that it does oxidize. So you want to make sure if you are purchasing to just be aware of that. It doesn't oxidize that much, but I go in and I highlight my face with concealer. So it doesn't really bother me. It's just a very, very slight. It just makes you look a little bit more bronzy, which I don't mind. And I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender. For concealer, I'm taking my Milani concealer that I review on this guy. You guys need to check it out. So I'm just going to brighten up my face with this concealer. I'm in the shade Light Beige. And I've just been so obsessed with it. And I am in the shade Light Neutral. It's the lightest shade, I believe, that they carry in this line. And I've just been really liking this, um, this powder. I forgot that it has a mirror. I did a review on this collection, and I didn't even realize it had a mirror. But just taking this brush by Kat Von D and just patting some of that powder underneath my eyes to set it. And then I'm going to take more powder and just set my whole face. This is actually a powder foundation. So it's going to add a little bit of color and a little bit of coverage. But I've been really, really liking this to set my makeup. It just adds like this airbrush finish that I love. And it balances out the um, color of the foundation once it oxidizes. So it definitely blends in with my skin tone. For bronzer, I'm taking this... Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends and this and this is in the shade 30 Sun Kissed. So I'm just gonna take the lighter side with the angled side of the brush and bronze up my face, just contour a little bit. I'm also gonna use this color as like a blush, like a bronzer blush, because I really like the color of it and I don't wanna add like too much contour, but just adding some color to the skin. It's gonna make everything look sun kissed. Look at the difference. You always want to add color back onto the skin after applying a foundation.
take this regular fluffy brush I don't know where it's from but I really like this brush it's just a very fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna grab the lightest color in this little guy and this is very pigmented but I'm gonna add it on to my crease and that's gonna be my crease color I just love a nice warm color on the crease I think it's such a beautiful look with wings liner and some lashes Okay, so the shadow is pretty much done. I'm gonna take this Sigma gel liner. I can't find my e.l.f. one. I do love the e.l.f. one, so if you guys want like a drugstore alternative, the e.l.f. one is really good. I'll be using this guy today, and I'm also gonna be using the Sigma E06 eyeliner brush. This brush, I forgot how amazing it is. You always just wanna make sure that when you are going to use it to clean off any dry gel because it's going to interfere with the way that your gel liner glides. You wanna make sure that the brush is clean. So I'm going to quickly give it a nice clean. So I'm just going to create my wing. And I always like to use my hands. It's such a bad habit. But I kinda of like to pull on my eye a little bit and then, okay, so let's start. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so obsessed with this brush and this gel liner. I, I just love this brush so much. It's so precise. So I already put glue on my lashes and the glue that I'm using is the Kiss Lash Glue. I love the dark tone one. I love the light tone one. It's my favorite lash glue ever. Such a good drugstore lash glue. It's one of my favorites. I use it on my clients, on myself always. I can't see myself purchasing another one. I do love House of Lashes as well. House of Lashes reminds me of the Kiss Lash Glue. It's like very, very similar. So I'm just gonna pop these guys on. I love all my lash styles, but I've been reaching out for rose more than anything. I don't know, I've just been liking like the not too, too long, but still very fluffy and wispy lash. It's just been my jam lately. I'll put a link to them down below for you guys, but Rose has been my go-to and I'm just so obsessed. I need to fill in my brows. I have like product and foundation all over them and they look like they're fading away. I'm gonna take this Eyler powder, which you can get at Ulta, and they do sell this brand at Target, so consider it a drugstore uh, product, but I'm not sure if they sell this guy at Target because I've never even seen it at Target, but they do sell like the lashes and stuff. It's by Eyler and it's the brow powder. Um, and I'm just taking this angled brush. Just gonna fill in my brow. Alright guys, so my eyebrows are filled in and I just really like this powder 
on my brows it doesn't look like cakey or anything and it just i don't know i just really like the color of it it's not too dark and not too light and my hair is black so i don't want my eyebrows to be like completely black i want them to be you know able to look a little bit more on the natural side but i do have a uh, pretty dark hair so i need to kind of match it up a little bit to my dark hair so i'm gonna finish my face for highlight i'm taking this covergirl highlight palette it does have these three different shades and i'll be using this shade and for highlight i do apply it with my real techniques i think this is the setting brush it's my favorite brush for highlight it just oh <laughs> it just adds such a nice glow to the skin and it really blends out the highlight really good so it doesn't look too cakey and powdery but this highlight itself is very creamy and buttery whatever's left on my brush i'm going to take down my nose cupid's bow and my chin and then the very little that's left i'm just applying it to my forehead for an extra glow to the face for mascara, I'm taking this guy by Rimmel London, and I'm only going to apply a little bit of mascara, and I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. For lips, I'm taking this guy, which is by the Makeup Academy. You can find it at CVS. It's in the shade Bear. It's like one of my favorite lip glosses. I love this lip gloss, but it doesn't last as long as I would like it to, but it's such a cute color it's not sticky it smells good it feels good and i'm just obsessed with the color this has to be one of the best nude glosses at the drugstore i'm very picky with my nude colors but such a pretty nude it's not too pink it's not too on the brown side and it's not too nude or pale on my skin so it's called bare and i feel like it would look amazing on a lot of skin tones it's such a cute gloss you can wear it by itself or if you want to do like a darker lipstick or lip liner underneath and just top it off with this it's gonna look super cute for my face just a little bit of this pixie rose glow mist i've been so obsessed with this because my skin has been dry with this dry winter weather i just want it to be spring already because i want to have like glowy bronzy skin so i'm just gonna apply some of this but that is pretty much it you guys it's such a simple look i do this look all the time i just wanted to use mainly drugstore products because you can achieve this glowy bronzy look for the springtime with drugstore products kind of easy to do i mean i know the wing liner and the lash part can be a little bit hard if you're a beginner but it's a pretty simple makeup look and i get tons of compliments when i wear this look it's not too dramatic your skin looks amazing and you still look put together so i think it's a very popular look and i hope you guys enjoyed it so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it if you guys are new welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe right before you leave i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys